Hey ya, it's Whimsy and we're back today with a new game that I am so excited about, Baldur's Gate 3. Now, I've been waiting for weeks to play this game. I was waiting for the PS5 release and now today is the day we are going to play this game. So my history with Baldur's Gate is none. I've never played any Baldur's Gate and I love Dungeons and Dragons. I just started though, I am a beginner. I'm a complete noob in D&D. We started my first campaign that I've ever been on. We started four years ago and we're still on the same one. So I've only been doing one campaign, but I love D&D. I fell into that world, completely fell in love with it. And I had no idea actually that Baldur's Gate games were D&D related. I, I absolutely had no idea. And so when I learned that Baldur's Gate 3 was actually based on D&D and with the lore and everything, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so now I'm super excited to play it. Again, I just want to say I'm a complete noob. What I mean by that is I don't know much of the lore. I don't know much of any history. I don't know all the races. I don't know all the classes because there's so many stuff like n just basic game is fine everything else i'm just lost i love critical role i watch critical role as well but like it's it's just little things like that that i've learned along the way but i i don't know everything at all especially not the lore so if you're looking for a playthrough that really dives into the lore with knowledge that is not for you i'm going to discover the lore with this game if that makes sense all that I know basically is how to play. <laughs> I know how to play the game. I know how to play D&D. But apart from that, it's going to be a big discovery for me. So I'm super, super excited to play. So if you're new, welcome in. My name is Whimsy. I play a variety of games. I usually like challenging games like From Software, but also story driven and RPGs are my big, big um, bread and butter, basically. A couple of my favorite games, I really love Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, I love Hollow Knight, Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War, The Last of Us, Tomb Raider, yeah, a, a lot of other games, but, but you, you get the vibe, right? I will be recreating my D&D character. The reason why I'm doing this, I actually was kind of unsure if I should do that or not. I thought it would be fun to try something new, but the reason why is that my character is a tiefling, and I've always wanted to know, because I know that tieflings are regarded as, you know, a lot of mistrust and suspicions, and especially because of their bloodline and history with demons, people don't look up to them much. So I really want to try to be a tiefling in this game and see how it impacts the game. I want to see if I'm going to be treated you know, like, like scum, you know? Like I'm really interested in, in really feeling like a tiefling because when I play my campaign, I play as, you know, as my character, but I, I don't really know, you know, how it is to be a tiefling in this world yet. So I'm really excited to do that. A bit more history on my character. She's a tiefling, like I mentioned. She's from the um, Asmodeus bloodline. She is a sorcerer wild magic so she has surges of wild magic from time to time we have a bit of a homebrew thing going on with my dm but every time we have a short or a long rest she might have nightmares and i need to roll to see if she does and if she does have a nightmare we need to roll in like 1 200 to see what happens with a, a wild magic surge basically and it anything can happen it's so funny and sometimes it's actually really dangerous hazard because i can basically kill or hurt the people around me as well it can happen or it can be something funny like i become bigger or whatever or i have like a third eye for like the rest of the time or whatever but um yeah so we have that thing going on apart from that she's an outlander bounty hunter for the lore background that I made up, uh, she has a twin brother and when they were young, her twin brother was actually really young that he found out that he has magic, that he can do magic. He was a sorcerer as well and she didn't know, my character didn't know herself if she could do magic yet. And when they were seven, 
he got kidnapped by a group of bandits and she never saw him again after that and then people were trying to you know take take her as well other other people from the bandit group they were trying to take her and then we don't need to go into details but basically uh, from that stress that she was under she had a magic surge and killed the five people that were with her at that time and she just immediately killed him with the wild magic surge so after that she knew that she was also a sorcerer which is a terrible way to find out but yeah anyway big big uh, super edgy background with my tiefling so after that she decided to just she had no one, right? And she always wanted to find her brother again. She really believes that he's still alive somewhere, her twin brother. So that's why she decided to become a bounty hunter because she is looking for him and she thinks that someday she will find the, the, the bandit group that took him, right? They must do, like you do a crime once, you'll do it again, right? So they must be doing crime still. They must have a price on their head. So she's hoping that she'll find them as a bounty hunter and maybe that'll lead her to her brother. So basically that's her backstory. It's not really necessary, but since I'm going to recreate my character, I, I thought that I could share with you guys a little bit. Um, I gotta put a picture of my character somewhere in the screen so that you guys can, uh, can see what she looks like. Yeah, I think I think I pretty much said everything there was to say. Oh, she likes to polish her horns. And she also is very proficient with knots. Don't ask why. And uh, she does not trust others easily at all. It takes a while. She has a tendency to trust half horks a little bit easier. But um, any other species, she basically is like, yep, I don't care about you much unless you prove yourself that I can trust you. And then once she once she trusts, she becomes super loyal. And yeah, she can go to the end of the world with you and she'll be forever loyal. So basically that's my character that I want to recreate in this game, if it's possible, because I know you can create tieflings in this game. So I'm like, okay, can I actually make the skin blue, you know? Can I have the same type of horn that I'm thinking for her? Like, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to see the customization for the character, but yeah. And her name is Lilith, but this was before, I swear. This was way before Diablo 4 came out. Now everybody's gonna think that I called her Lilith because of Diablo 4. I thought I was so clever back then. Oh my God, half demon, whatever, you know, like demon blood. Oh, Lilith, <laughs> I thought I was so clever, so stupid. But uh, yeah, maybe we can change her name this time. But yeah, her name in my campaign is, uh, is Lilith. So she looks nothing like the Diablo version though. <laughs> so we're going to go with a first look today in the game. I'm going to probably customize the character. I'm going to try to play a little bit. I can't play for too long though, so it's gonna be a challenge because character creation always takes me forever. Although, since I'm recreating my D&D character, it might not take that long. I don't know. And if you guys like this video and if you want to see a series out of it, then we could do that. I could do a let's play of the game. If it does not do that well on my channel, that's fine. I can always stream it over on Twitch or here on YouTube. It will depend on you guys if you like this video or not. Let me know in the comments anyway if you want to see a series of it or not. But uh, yeah, I think I've talked enough. I'm just so excited. So let's jump into it. Let's go. All right, I haven't even clicked yet. This is like all new for me. Ooh, the little zoom is uh, creepy. Larian Studios, let's go. Big GG's. Cause I heard this game is like contender for game of the year, probably. Um, we'll see, we'll see, but um, I'm excited to see how much of D&D it actually is, you know? But I think it's fully optimized and similar or same as a D&D campaign, which is what I understood anyway from what I saw. So I'm so excited. Yes, selling my soul, please. Show nudity. Ah, oh, damn. I would say yes. 
The Savage Cottage Major is sensitive subject matter. You can moderate some of this content by toggling the option below. This option, among others, can be changed anytime in the option menu. I would say yes, but I know YouTube is very picky with that, and pressing no would actually save me a lot of editing and probably save me some advertisement as well. So, ah, oh, that sucks. I, I'm all for nudity. <laughs> Usually, okay. Uh, I like this. This looks beautiful. Baldur's Gate 3. Ooh, is it the, um, the Underdark? Am I mistaken? Like I said, guys, I'm a... Oh, the music. I'm a total beginner. So if I make mistakes in the lore and everything, that's why. <sighs> oh, that's a party coming in. Is I think there's a dragonborn and a gnome, maybe, or dwarf, or halfling. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> but I think the left is a dragonborn. Awesome, 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 awesome. I am so excited. Okay. Yes, my trick, please. Karmic. Avoid failures, tricks while keeping the results mostly random. I'm. I will select character after combat set. Which character will be selected when it exists? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Please. Adaptive triggers. Uh, we'll see. I don't always like that. Number of auto save, dynamic combat camera, follow flying creatures, online visibility. All right, so that's gameplay. Controller will see performance. Yes, please. That's fine. Nvidia doesn't have um. <clears throat> there isn't like motion blur or anything like that. Yes, please, please subtitles. That's fine. All right. All right. Show genitals. I see. Private moments. This means I am multiplayer. Other spirit cannot witness your private moments. If you leave this option disabled, you can toggle each. Uh, okay. Enable to show sexual content during cinematics. Sexual content visibility does not affect your adventure or access to romance at options. Okay. I think I'll hide it. Uh, showing the genitals, maybe not, but cinematic nudity, I, I, I don't want to miss any scene, you know what I mean? I feel like, um, like the sound is a bit low, but we'll see, I guess, in-game. All right, select your difficulty. Explore a narrative experience, placing story before combat, balanced adventure full of challenging choices, and a tough campaign emphasizing strategic combat. Balance or tactician? Ah, I'm a noob, so I'll go with balanced, but... Oh, I kind of want to do... Uh, 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 uh. It's hard for me to not take the hardest mode. Ooh, is that a um, mind flayer? Yeah, it is. Definitely. Do you see all the kneeled... Kneeled people in front? Slaves. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Uh, this species is Githyanki, I think. <laughs> I'm really hoping I'm not mistaken <laughs> on anything that I've said so far. And I think they have history with the Mind Flayer, the Githyanki, right? If I remember the, the lore. I'll stop talking now, I'm sorry. I'm so excited, that's why. Ah, <laughs> oh, why? 
Oh lord, are you kidding? Dude. Please, no. Ah. Oh. Why? Why? Uh, enable tutorials. Yeah. Okay, so we are in... Under the control of a mind flayer is what I'm understanding. It starts like that. Who are you? We're about to see. You're about to find out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want tutorials, yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Okay, 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 okay. You always felt like you had a greater calling, but it has never borne fruit. Everything changes when you awaken in prison on an alien ship. Perhaps your time has finally come. Origin. Review character. What the hell? Asterian? After 200 years serving a cruel master, the vampire spawn Asterian is finally free. Free to walk in the sun, free to chase power, free to take revenge. Play introduction, I'm just so curious. Hello, darling. Don't be shy. I promise not to bite until we've been formally introduced. My name's Astarian. Astarian. And I've spent a century stalking the night, hunting for pretty morsels just like you. A man called Cazador made me what I am, kept me like a pet, forced me to do his bidding. No more. I see. The Tatbell's influence broke his dominance over me, and now... I can finally pursue the one thing I've hungered for these long, dark Tadpole, the thing that years. we got in our eye, right? Revenge. I'm going back to Boulder's Gate to track Cazador down in his lair. Fair enough. I'll be the last thing the bastard ever sees. <laughs> his voice is, um... I think it's the same voice actor that does in, um... Oh my god, what's his name? In, uh... In Detroit, become human. Uh, the creator. I uh, forget his name right now, but it is the same voice actor, right? Or no, it's it's not it's not even voice actor, actor, because I think this is mocap, if I'm not mistaken. Hi, elf. Review character. Okay, so. Heirs of mystical Feywild, the High Elves value magic in all its forms, and even those who do not study spellcraft can manipulate the weave. Rogue! With stealth, scale, and uncanny reflexes, Rogue's versatility lets them get the upper hand in almost any situation. I would love to play a Rogue in a future campaign, to be honest. Strain, Dex, Lala, yeah. Sneak attack. Oh, he's a Rogue, eh? Uh, there we go. We have all the proficiencies. We have all the skills. I am loving this already. Okay, custom. Lazel was raised ready for a life amongst the stars, mercilessly conquering the cosmos as a git Yankee soldier. Yeah, we saw her in the introduction. I think it was her. Oh, she looks amazing. Grounded, she must deal with a world she doesn't understand and find a way to serve her people in a plane that despises her militant kin. Yep. With a ruthlessness born from mind flare enslavement, Gidyaki ride the astral sea atop red dragons, bringing their silver swords and psionic might to bear against any trace of the illited menace. Yes, and she's a fighter. Master the art of combat wielding weapons and unmatched skill, wearing armor like a second skin. Play introduction. Since I was born in the cold reaches of Wa, 
world, Space. I have known but one purpose. To wield a silver sword and ride a red dragon in service of my regent, the Githyanki Queen Vlakith. My first step on this path is to slay a mind flayer and bring its head to my queen. There is no I'm flesh stuck with I one carve, and no barrier I will not shatter to see it done. She's cool. I am the one who sunders. I am the undying queen's most unshakable warrior. I am Lazel of Kalir. Lazel. Awesome! Next. Gale. Gale's wizarding prowess once earned him the love of Mistra, the goddess of magic, until his ambition led him to the brink of catastrophe. He is a wizard. Human. Most common face in Faerun. Humans are known for their tenacity, creativity, and endless capacity for growth. Okay, so this is in Fe... It's Fe Faerun or Faerun, I'm not sure. Um, but it's set in here, I guess. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, wizards master the arcane by specializing in individual schools of magic, combining ancient spells with modern research. Yes. Okay. Let's see about you, my boy. Who are you? Well met, stranger. You find yourself in the presence of the renowned wizarding prodigy, Gale of Waterdeep. Please, no need to be intimidated. My virtuosic talents once caught the eye of the goddess of magic herself, Mistra, who named me her chosen and her lover. <laughs> Thanks to a slight miscalculation on my part, that relationship eventually soured, as did the greatest of my powers. Ah, uh, okay. Now I'm merely a humble wizard on the road to redemption. Unless I can find the path to something greater. That's suspicious. <laughs> a little bit, I would say. Very cool. Shadow Heart. I heard about this. I think she's a fan favorite, right? I heard about this. Um, her and uh, Asterion, I think I've seen around. Oh my god, there's many. Okay. Ooh, she's cute. Shadow Heart willingly undertook a ritual to remove her memories in order to protect the secrets of her fellow Shard worshippers. Loss and pain are sacred to her, but her fate is now being tested like never before. High half health. A touch of the Fey Wild remains in half health with the bloodline, and even those untrained in magic possess a hint of wild power. A cleric. Oh, that's nice. Representative of the gods they worship, wielding potent, potent divine magic for good or ill. As the greater deity of darkness, Shar is feared for her power over the night, secrets, and loss. She is locked in eternal conflict with her twin sister, Selune, goddess of the moon. Blessing of the trickster. <gasps> she can probably heal us as well, I guess. Yeah, of course she has a skill in religion. Introduce yourself, darling. <laughs> My name is Shadowheart, loyal servant of Shah, goddess of darkness and loss. There is little more I can tell you than that. My lady Shah tasked me with a mission of such secrecy that I surrendered great swathes of my memory in order to safeguard the knowledge of it. All so I even know she doesn't is that know. I must bring the artifact I hold to Baldur's Gate. Oh. And that nothing can stand in my way. My goddess is watching we don't actually know if it's a good intent or not she doesn't even know because she doesn't remember Ooh, i like that will known as the blade of frontiers will uses his magic to fell the monsters and devils menacing the sword coast in a moment of desperation he accepted an offer of greater power, forcing him into an infernal game he is struggling to play. Oh, his eyes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Human. The most common face in... Yeah, yeah, human. Yeah, that's fine. We know what that is. 
He's a warlock. Okay. Bound by a pact to an all-powerful pat pa patron. Warlocks trade their loyalty for supernatural abilities and unique magic. Animal handling. Let's hear about you. Seven years ago, I was exiled from Baldur's Gate, the city I call home. Okay, he's from there, all right. My name is Will, but the people of the Sword Coast call me the Blade of Frontiers, champion of the meek, defender of the innocent. Hmm. Hmm. The truth isn't quite so simple. Mm -hmm. I but bet. they're right about one thing. I hunt monsters and I always catch my prey. My latest target is a devil and I'm right on her tail. Once I'm through with her, she'll he's never not gonna escape like me. the fires of the first hell. As a tiefling, he's not gonna like me. Oh no. Okay. Hello, Karlak has escaped 10 years of service in the hells with nothing but the axe on her back and the infernal engine blazing fiercely where her heart used to be. Ah, a Zerial tiefling. Empowered with martial strength and can channel searing flame to punish their enemies. Barbarian. Ah, oh, with the tail and everything. Let's fucking go, dude. Athletics, of course. Tomaturgy, of course. Ah, oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's hear about you, darling. Ooh. Oh, you look so cool. Ten years ago, I was sold to the Archdevil Zariel. She put a hellfire engine in my chest and made me her prized soldier. That's why. But I've escaped now. Thank you, Mind Flayers. And I've got a few scores to settle. If this engine doesn't burn me to ash first, I'll need people I can trust. Mm -hmm. An infernal mechanic. A fellow and a tiefling, serious maybe. serious amount of luck. But you know what? I'm not worried. After ten years in the hells, I can take on anything. For sure. I've got my chance at freedom, and believe me, I'm going home. All right. The Dark Urge. You remember nothing but a path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? Your appearance in class can be fully customized. So that's us? Or what? Remember nothing but a puppy with blood on which more cruelty was pursued from within. Can you escape it with you? Ooh. I guess it is us. My rancid blood whispers to me. Kill. Kill and kill again. My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world. And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured beyond repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. Damn, the acting is so good. Okay, so I can customize this character, right? Because it's us? I, I guess? Yeah. Body type, one. Oh my goodness gracious, you look non-binary, other, male, female. Randomize. Uh-huh. But you type three. Four. F wait, where? It's like taller, I guess. Oh, 
look amazing. Um, okay, race. Draw. Human. Git Yankee. Dwarf. Half. Halfling. No. Wow. Half orc. You can be half orc. Tiefling. There we go. Elf tiefling. Okay. Yeah, nine meters. Yeah, dark vision, hellish resistance. Same, 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 same. Everything is the same. That's so cool. Half orc is cool too, though. <gasps> okay, let me uh, let me get back to my. Um... And now I can decide. I mean, she's more on the smaller side in my mind. But that looks pretty good too. <gasps> oh! I'm not ready. I... <laughs> okay! <laughs> Sub race. Asmodeus! I can be Asmodeus! Are you kidding? Bantinesis, the deepest layer of the hells. These tieflings inherit the ability to will fire and darkness from the arc. Arch Devil Asmodeus, yeah. And you have, oh, you have a Mephisto. Oh, that's pretty cool. And Zeriel. Yeah, Asmodeus, there we go. Produce flame, yep. Yep, shed light. Throwing the flame really after you conjure. It does not cost an action. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, very cool. Class. Let's see what we got. Barbarian, Bard, Cleric, Druid, Fighter, Monk, which is very cool. Paladin, Ranger, which is really cool. Oh, hell yeah. Rogue. Sorcerer, there we go. That's me. Warlock and Wizard. Amazing. Let me see the... What do you do as a monk? Oh hell yeah. <laughs> so cool. Sorcerer. So we get bone chill right off the bat. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. Yep. We get acid splash. Okay. True strike. Nice. Light. Chromatic orb. Earl is sphere that deals. Thunder damage and magic missile. Don't we have a fireball? <laughs> we get a lot of cantrips. That's pretty cool. And two spells. Inspect. <gasps> awesome. You really have all the information. Saving throw. Target rolls against the attacker's difficulty class. If the roll is equal to or higher than the difficulty class, the target resists the effects of the attack. Yep. I'm so excited. Constitution saving throw proficiency. Your proficiency bonus is added to ability checks and saving throws against skill you are proficient in, making them more likely to succeed. It is also added to attack rolls when attacking with weapon you are proficient with. Increasing your chance to hit. Yep. And charisma. Dagger. Quarter staff. Okay. And light crossbow. Alright. Hell yeah. So far, so good. Oh, you can select your cantrips. For real. Firebolt. Of course. <laughs> Let me put it at the end here, maybe. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Um, okay, let me see. We have Blade Ward, as a Splash, Mage Hand. Uh, poison Spray, True Strike, Friends. Gain advantage of Charisma checks against a non-hostile creature. Pretty cool. 
minor illusion I have in my campaign as well. Create an illusion that compel nearby creatures to investigate. You can remain hidden. Shock and grasp. Ray of frost. Light. Firebolt. Uh, and bone chill. I made a point to not use necrotic uh, spells in my campaign, but... It's kind of interesting, though. Um, I'll take True Strike, Friends, and Minor Illusion, I think. I mean, Mage Hand is pretty cool, too. Maybe instead of True Strike. I'm sorry. Uh... Take only half the damage from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks. I didn't know about that. That's pretty interesting, though. Hmm. I think that could be good. Let's use that. And for the spells, I have burning hands in my campaign. Um, charm person, chromatic orb, color spray, disguise self. Expeditious Retreat. Mage Armor, I have to. Mm -hmm. Let's put this for now. Enhanced Sleep, Triple Creatures Jumping Distance. Ice Knife, Fog Cloud, Feather Fall, False Life, Magic Missile, Ray of Sickness, Shield, Sleep. Thunder wave and witch bolt. Don't have a lot of things to attack. I have two. That's pretty cool. They are all good. That's the thing. I like thunder wave a lot. This is hard. Yeah, I'll take thunder wave. Ah. Uh. Subclass well magic! Tides of chaos! Let's go! I can really do my character! Are you kidding? While well, magic sends from the forces of chaos, it turns within. Yep. Waiting to burst free. Activate to gain advantage on your next attack roll ability check or saving throw. Increased chance of while magic surge afterwards. Yep. Every time I every time I do tides of chaos and every time I sleep, short or long rest, uh, in my in our campaign. I have a chance of having a, uh, a surge. And you have Dragonic and Storm. Okay. But yeah, no wild. Wild magic, please. Background! Acolyte, child and criminal entertainer, folk hero, god, artisan, noble. Outlander! You're kidding! I can literally do my character! Are you kidding me right now? That's awesome! Urchin! Oh lord! Okay. Grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from comfort of civilization. Surviving unusual hazards of the wild will enhance your prowess and understanding. Athletics, survival, plus two survival. Yep. Abilities. Oh, you can choose. Okay. Okay. Um. Should I should I pick up my uh that's the recommended Uh I think it's charisma and dex from me Um Kind of want to go pick up the uh my character sheet and see Let me let me do that just a sec all right, I actually have it here. <laughs> All right, let me see. So I technically have 10 of strength. So should I take... I'll take everything off that I can. Um, dex 12 with a plus one. Um, constitution 13, intelligence 14. Uh, wisdom 11 
Uh, and Charisma, 16. That's my character that I rolled. Obviously, I didn't make those choices. I literally just rolled. And um, it gave that. I don't know if it's going to be more difficult or not. Uh, based on... Based on... Um, like, what they recommended versus what I just did. I guess we'll see. But that's my character. So I kind of want to try and see what is difficult, actually, right? And I feel like I'm gonna play better in my campaign knowing that. My bonuses plus two. Uh, charisma is fine. And I have a plus two in intelligence, plus one in constitution, and plus one in dex as well. But I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> it's clearly not possible here. But uh, maybe I could do constitution. I have a plus two in intelligence too, so maybe I should do intelligence. I don't know. I'll be so squishy though. I'll be so squishy. That's the thing. I mean, technically, I think that's... <laughs> Tav? No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Lilith? I don't know if I'm actually gonna call her that, I guess. I guess we'll see. Um. Hi. Stamina and physical endurance affects your hit point maximum. How much damage party members can take before being downed? Improve spell casting for wizards. Yeah. Affects your armor class. <laughs> My decks! My dex, dude. I'm supposed to be 12. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah. Maybe less wisdom. Maybe more like this? My AC being 12 is... I mean, that's how it is, though. That's... Yeah, that's me. Good lord, okay. After that, skills. Ah, then maybe there... Um, what do I have? I have plus one in acrobatics. Yeah, that's fine. Arcana plus... Wait, what? If you're proficient in a skill, you add a bonus to those skill checks, makes you more likely to succeed. Yeah. I have zero in animal handling, actually. Wow. I, uh, yeah, it's the same. Okay. Let me see. Acrobatics, plus one, that's fine. I have plus two in arcana, that's fine. Uh, okay, insight. I have a plus two. And intimidation, plus five. Um, and persuasion, I would, I would have more technically, but, huh. Huh. I think I'm gonna take persuasion. Usually I would have plus seven actually on that. And also survival. Uh, survival plus two is fine. Okay. It's too bad that I can't have intimidation. Be a bully. <laughs> Threaten and induce fear. <laughs> Uh, persuasion. I'll, I'll choose persuasion. That's fine. Detect lies. Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's, you know, it's not optimized, but it's because I didn't choose that for my campaign, right? It's things that you roll 
so you don't really know. Some of them, some of them comes with, I think, the class and uh, and everything. But some of them, you know, you don't you don't choose. So like having insight does not really make sense, I guess. But it would be better to have deception or like um, arcana, arcana, arcana. I don't even know how to pronounce. But persuasion is good though. Okay, appearance can randomize. Oh, they were shaved down, the horns. Oh, okay. Okay, let, wow, the hair. Body type. Okay, that's the one we saw before. Hmm. Be wary. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. More. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Hmm. What was- Let's hope the locals are- Hells. Something just woke up down here. I like that. I like uh, that voice, I think. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. Yeah. Skin color. Um, she is blue. Normally. Oh, goodness. My character is deep blue. Hmm. <gasps> yeah, vitiligo. That's so cool. Thank goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Eye color. Here we go. Ooh. I like that. That looks amazing. What do you mean? Demonic blue, dude. Tattoo style. Now, I have a lot of tattoos. Um, a lot of them. Because that's where I take my magic. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's so many. Oh, hell yeah. That's, that's exactly, like, perfect. Lip tint. I think she has black. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course she does. Why am I surprised? So maybe like this, I would say. Scarring. Yes. She does. So many cool ones. Yeah, this one. Hairstyle. Okay, wait. Can I go to hair color first? Because like this, this ain't it. Black neutral. It does not look black to me, but okay. Um, highlights. Ah! Is that why? Okay. Graying. No. Hey, <laughs> no way. Wait. Wow, you can really, uh... Okay, I see. You can really go deep into that customization. That's crazy. Horn style. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I can literally make my... Wow. I think these are actually more accurate, maybe? I'm not sure. Mm, 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 mm. That's too cool. Are you kidding? Shaved off. I'm in awe right now. Yeah, these. These are... Yep. Horn color. Mm. I don't know. I need to change the hair as well. Wait a minute. Hairstyle. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. It's a really good hairstyle though. I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. <laughs> but it doesn't fit with my horns. Oh, looking so good. 
That ain't bad. Okay. Okay, kind of edgy. They're all good, don't get me wrong. But, um... I'm trying to find really the, the vibe for my uh, tiefling. You know what I mean? One eternity later. All right, guys. I think we are pretty much done. Um, I tried to recreate as much as possible. Obviously, it's not exactly the same as my character, but I think she looks pretty cool. Um, we're more in the blue theme. We got some tattoos, we got a scar or two, you know, the horns and a complicated knot because she is a little bit sophisticated, you know, she has some charisma and persuasion going on. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we're gonna go with that. So she is, just, just so we can uh, recap, she is a tiefling Asmodeus bloodline, a sorcerer. Um, we are wild magic, outlander, it doesn't say, but she's a bounty hunter. Um, <laughs> we have intentions and charisma bonus points. And yeah, I guess, I guess that's it guys, I guess we're good to go. Review character. Uh, that's all good. Ch next, choose guardian. Okay. Oh my goodness, and I need to I I can I can customize as well. Oh boy. Oh, a half orc would be uh pretty cool actually. Oh hell yeah. A half orc as a guardian. I'm I'm all for it. All right. I think we're ready to venture forth. Uh, I spent less time on this one, but uh, I think she looks pretty cool too. I didn't know we had to do two characters. We won't have much time to play, guys. I swear. Oh my goodness. Let's go. <gasps> I'm so excited. So we got a tadpole, right? The little white worm. Okay, taken over. Jesus. Oh, humans. Oh, Lord. You're not ready. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, boy. Not the Willem scream! Wow, so easy. Just like that. Just need to touch them like that. What is that portal? Oh! Oh! Get Yankees. On dragons, of course. Let's go. Yeah, they're maybe they're coming to save uh La 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 Lazel. La <laughs> I'm not good with names. So cool. This is 
waking up. Amazing. Ah, that's us, right? For sure. Is she gonna help or is she's not gonna care? initiative <laughs> I wonder if that's how it's gonna work I'm sure it is like everything is D&D &D all through like oh okay L2 is me I guess <gasps> it's a me I look amazing like straight up Is amazing. Use. Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. Where the oh. hells are we? What if I, um... Not getting back in that thing. My flare pod. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. The pool that thing came from. The parasite narrator writhing behind narrator. Your eye. Oh. Investigation. Reach toward invest investigate. Add bonus of intelligence. Sure. Uh Oh, no, 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 no. No, you know what? I'm sorry. I I actually didn't want to do that. Well, whatever. Okay, let's do it. You were fine. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Okay, so can I...
disadvantage. Target is too close. Oh, makes sense. Nice. Oh. Loot. Amethyst? Sure. I'm I'm Dead. Good. I'm shocked right now, guys. I'm shocked. I <laughs> This is amazing. What is that? Restoration. Oh, I feel better. Okay. That's nice. A sphincter. Ew, it's called like that. Okay, you can move too like that. What path lies before me? Interesting. I can hear. Oh, okay. I, I had no idea this was an elevator. Oh, sir. We are trapped. Those are brains. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? I think you're past the point of saving to me what to do. You sound afraid. Why? Should I roleplay? I, I love to do voice acting, like, just for fun. But it's cringe fest, I'm telling you guys, okay? You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Okay. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Uh-huh. Um. Destroy. Ew. Ew. Loot. There's nothing to take. Can I destroy those? Yes. Oh. Um. Curious. Yep. We're gonna destroy those as well. Let me just, um. damage yeah okay i'm so sorry i uh, had not realized okay i have healing nice we're killing everything <laughs> and i can use my cantrips um i think anytime i want for uh, burning hands, though, I can only use a couple of them until I think until it until I long rest, if I remember correctly. Or are they coming back? Yep. Breaking everything. There we go. 
Let me just do these two. And can I? Okay, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm trying things out, you know. I see, I see. I didn't see where my health was, but um, I saw that I was getting acid damage and I wanted to know like how how much can I withstand? Not that much. <laughs> where is my health though? I need to look properly. Oh, oh, we're restarting. Oops. I'm so sorry, guys. You know, I'm, I'm just trying things out. It is how it is. So was it, was it the seven? Better. I see seven here. I, I'm trying to understand right now. I can only imagine for someone that has never played D and D, like, oh, I didn't loot the um, the mind flayer. I'm sorry. I could see it. dead. Good. Wait, what? Interesting. We can really look around. Onyx. Okay. Late. A feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. I can sit. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> A schematic of an autoloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Breaking everything on my path. All right, I'm breaking everything. Doesn't do anything. Can't do that right now. Okay. I do not want those to ever get out of here. So yeah, I'm breaking everything. <laughs> oh lord, they're they're everywhere. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's go back down. <laughs> oh, I see. It's to call back the elevator, probably. Mind flayer horticulture. Uh huh. Tablet. years of humanoid history elves dwarves humans and more flash behind your eyes okay so yeah i think my ac is the seven that i see there like seven hits basically is what i understand so far but uh, i might be wrong all right here we are i don't think i can sprint but we'll see. Oh, that's Lady Lazelle. <gasps> She's so cool. Abomination. This is your end. 
Excuse me? Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squall. You are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together. Yes. We might survive. Join my party. What did you think I was a thrall? Who are you? We need to figure out where we are. What do you suggest? Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geish, mind flayers. We are turning into mind flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the right. matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. All right. Roll initiative. <laughs> Oh, they look cool. Initiative five. It's my turn. It's our turn. Okay, that's amazing, by the way. I'm thinking of context menu. What is that? Okay. Actions, yeah. So ranged attack, astral knowledge, second wind. Okay, that's that's not me, right? Wait, it is. Oh, disengages there. Nice. High dash, improvise melee weapon, shove throw. So it's okay, it is Lizel's turn first, and I choose for her what she's gonna do, which is insane. Um, I would say. Mm, she is closer to this one. You can do a main hand attack, I think. Pommel strike? Yeah, I mean it. I think. I nah? Okay, yeah. We're fine. Miss? Are you serious right now? Mm. Mm. Let's try this. Pommel strike. Loot? Sure. There's nothing. And it's still her turn? No, okay, I need to switch. I won't give in. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh fireballs on you. That is not a lot. Um, that is really not a lot. Let me loot that. And I can move. What path lies before me? can't do another action, yeah. We're pretty much, uh... What lies within? Oh, lord. Okay, I see. 
and turn. Never a dull moment. Let's see what they do. Nice. Okay. Okay, they missed. That's cool. Uh, lacerate. Let's try that. It's dead. Awesome. Um, main hand. No, we can't. Maybe I can shove. In my best interest. Yeah. Athletic successful, and then we can move away. So when when it's their turn. Still breathing. Um, when it's his turn, it's gonna be harder for it to reach us and take more of their um, gouge, yellow gouge in the bottom. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Mm, minor illusion. Not enough space. Can do that. So now it's it's concentrating on the cat. It's gonna be like that until I attack it, I think. Have them ready. So if I move here and the turn, ah, uh, I thought he would stay longer on the on the cat. <laughs> Investigation failed. They're a little bit stupid. Uh, let me see. I could do a main hand attack because it's not looking. Right. Ah, that's so cool. They do not explain anything. Hi, kitty cat. You're so cute. Follow us. Can I actually, like, control the cat? Level 1 beast. I can only imagine for someone that has never played. I keep saying that, but like, oh my goodness. I I play D&D &D and I'm, I'm like, okay, you know, learning. It's not that easy. Oh, we're gonna get our health back. Okay, cool. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Let's go. Taking everything. Saving, all right. Gave machinery. I can make no sense of it. Uh huh. Medium toughness. You! Oh! We have no time for stragglers. Look for a latch that might open the lid. There's no time I need to get out of here. I'll go look around. There must be some kind of way to get this thing open. Sorcerer Ar Arcana. There's magic at work here. Did my one kind. Let's do that. Ooh, that's it. Difficulty class seven. Okay, that's not too bad. We should be okay. Ooh, plus two. There we go. Success. from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. This thing's magically linked to that console. Let me see what I can do. Hurry! Please! Rescue the captive. Okay. Uh, what about this dude? The man isn't dead, but he's <laughs> totally unresponsive. He's just dazed. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. They're just husks. They're waiting to to become um, 
pick up? I, I'm not sure yet. Oh, Lord have mercy. What is that? The console appears dormant. Inscribe the device with the glyphs you sense from the pulse boarding runes. Yes. The console hums to life. Take a closer look at the powered up console. Ten. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you, game. Success. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Place your hand on the console. Sure. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. It's working. Will the pod to open. Oh, it's just the two. Easy. Ooh. <laughs> I talk too, uh, too fast. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Oh, okay. And it works. Awesome. Hello. Shadow heart. The Fuck graphics are so beautiful. Be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gift with you. Huh. You keep dangerous company. Uh-huh. Dangerous companies with you in a fight. Got a problem with Git Yankee. Did you feel that just now? We're in each other's heads. Dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty Cringe. of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right, then let's get going. I'm Lilith. Did you feel that? I, well, just, felt just now. No, you're on your own. Did you feel what I felt just before? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. Yeah, I'm thinking that'll so. have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? Of course. All right then, let's get going. I'm Lilith. Shadowheart. One moment. Oh yeah, the artifact that she needs to bring to Baldur's Gate. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Um... But first things first, what are those? Sigil. Oh! She made it hostile. Well, shit. Okay, so you're a high health, high half health cleric. Can you charm? Disguise. Um, uh, protect your. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You know what? You're gonna do that for me. Shield of faith. Healing. Yeah, she can heal. That's amazing. Blessing of the trickster. Fire. Oh, she has firebolt too. Guidance, resistance. Oh, she has amazing, amazing, amazing things. Um, on you. <laughs> on me. Why, thank you. Um. <laughs> the next attack roll against the target has advantage. The next attack roll against the circuit has advantage. Okay. 
Path is interrupted. No mercy. Okay, they're really easy to to kill. Can I do? No, I can't do anything else. Strike for you. Huh. you break? Easy. Easy. So now I, I'm a little bit more protected. Unleash. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that. So we have Unleash, at least. Also, we have this here. Pick that up. A brain in a jar. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. Needs a key. key. Needs a key, eh? Let's loot those. I'm just taking everything, to be honest. So I think... Backpack. I didn't see that before. Burnish necklace. Where? Oh. Here. Okay, so is that like tools? Uh... On, like tips on or something. Okay, I guess we'll go here because the objective seems to be that way. The other way, I mean. Aha! Just a second. <laughs> also, can I wait a damn minute? Where are you going? That, that took too long. <laughs> okay, let's open this. Very nice. I... Ooh. Map is for your surroundings. You can view quest locations and place custom markers. You can also teleport to waypoints. Very nice. So this one, I feel like... Yeah, that's the objective. So I'm, I'm feeling like I should... I shouldn't go there yet um, and explore before. How many hosts of these gay infected? Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Okay. I hear something. Voices. The sword. Huh. Okay, you. A dead thrall. This must unlock those controls next to the pod. What is that? Another brain. Okay. Place your hand on the console. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Ah, uh, it's gonna become an enemy, for sure. A thrall. Oh. I'm sorry. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chain char. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. It's already finished. You're can I talk to you for real? The newborn oh. mind flare stares at Oops. you, weak and dazed. Okay, can we please? Don't bother. You're barely dented. Shit. Well, well, well. It's gonna attack us later. Okay, it's gonna come back. Can I? And it's too fast. You are beautiful. <laughs> Wait, but I'm curious. I want to try to kill it though. Oh, it looks amazing. I swear. That worked! Oh! Commands battle! Hell yeah. <laughs> that did not do anything. Alright. Well, whatever. We killed the, uh, another brain. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm... <laughs> I'm investigating literally everything and anything and everything, you know? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't really need it, but whatever. It's fine. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? Right. I'll trust my own. Yeah, judgment. who put you in charge though? That's true. Kane Yank. <laughs> and we can talk still? Not now. We must go to the helm. Hard not to ask questions. Why the helm? Control over the ship. Or do you wish to die here? What about you? Something the matter. Besides the obvious, that is. Shadowheart. Unusual name. Pondering my name won't get us off this ship. <laughs> Let's stow the small talk until we're safe, shall we? Any suggestions for how to proceed? Well, jumping overboard is hardly an option. So that leaves us with taking control of this ship. Provided we can figure out how to do that, of course. Let's keep going. I'm right behind you. It's cool that you can talk to them, like, and ask their opinions and stuff, you know? Love that. Oh, there's an enemy right at the entrance. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. Those are uh, winged tiflings, no? Wait, the imps are helping us? Draw. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. We will deal with the geek after we escape. Oh. Let's use main and attack on Commander Zog. Little needs 18 to hit. They rolled four. Choose how to react. Uh, ties of chaos. the devil uh, uh, 15 turns remaining reach the transponder before the nautiloid crashes we can definitely I think we can definitely uh, kill this one pummel strike Shit. Main hand. Good. Oh, 
All right. Um. Uh, Mind flare. Okay. Shadow heart. I think it's your turn. Let's finish this. Uh, is it not? It is not her turn. Blood comes easy these days. Mm, all right. Um, for you. Friends? Is it hostile right now? I guess it is. Thunder wave. I could try that. Oh. Did I just throw Shadowheart? Like. I am so sorry. Oh my god. That was a bad idea. Oh no. I didn't think she would, uh... And there was a magic surge. Oh, goodness. Um... Heal. Uh, yeah. Yourself. <laughs> uh... This dude? No, it's not gonna work. Must be humanoid. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. Um. I think it's dazed right now. This one. Uh huh. God damn. Ow. Oh, it didn't work. High defense. What lies within? Can't reach. Come on, can't stay idle. Time to press ahead. Okay. We're fine. You're terrible. Um, so let me see what I can do against you. Not flames. I don't think it works against them. They, they must be immune. Concussive smash. Let's try that. Dazed! Hell yeah. Let's move up. There we go. You were dazed! What do you mean? Let, let them just kill each other we don't care right uh, lesser this is your end there we go very good nothing important is ever easy mm -mm -mm. Maybe not the best time. All right. We'll reach, we'll reach eventually. It's just 15 it's turns. Coming. Hurry before they strike. Mm. 
loot. What is that? I don't even... I don't know. All right. Come on. Well, so much for peace. Not enough movement? Are you serious? Can't slow down. Okay, you will get mm -mm -mm, putrefy a creature. That's good. Focus, strike two. More there we go. Amazing. Uh, let's move up here. Why me? Huh? Oh my god. Miss. Whew. Pick that up. I don't know what it is, but pick it up. <laughs> no time to waste. Maybe I can uh arm string shot. That worked. Anything of use? Nothing at all. For you, let me try a. Mm. Is it resistant to flame too? No. <laughs> Great. Nothing to see. What is that? Okay, interesting to know. Stunned. Move up. To keep going. Move up. Need to find a way forward. They are hard to kill. Okay. Okay, that was not too bad. The helm's All right. alien transponder. You made it in time. We could have seen if we could have killed the mind flayer, maybe. Combat to enter tactical view to leave this hold or to up. So many things to learn and the game doesn't say anything. Like, this I guess was like the tutorial. And I have I have tutorial on. I'm pretty sure, but like, thank God I know how to play D and D because uh, it's uh, yeah. It's very interesting. I like I like the lack of hand holding, but also I can only imagine for someone that ne that has never played D and D how weird everything is, like how complicated it seems when it's not really. But um, well, it is. But uh, <laughs> you know, oh, a tiefling.
need to stop playing, guys. I need to stop playing, but this is so much fun. As a first look into the game, I am excited. Ooh. I hope Shadow Heart is okay. I don't have Feather Fall. <laughs> Save me. Oh. Where are my where is my party? As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Ugh. Check yourself for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Thank you, DM. <laughs> find a cure. Oh, I'm alone again. Open journal to learn more. Fast travel. Here? Short rest, go to camp, long rest, combat log, journal, spellbook, character sheet. Oh! Yeah, I have my campy supply sack, of course. Keychain. Potion of healing. Nice to know, nice to know. Scimitar, quarter staff. Only clothes. Right now I have these. Okay, it's under. Oh, you can equip that. Okay. I see, I see, I see, I see, yeah. Cloak, wow. Underwear. <laughs> we could use the scimitar, maybe. Short sword. Not proficient with martial weapons or scimitars. Not proficient with, okay, or short sword. I'm not proficient in it, so it's not really useful for me. Proficiency party view. Amazing. Statistics. Okay. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> Journal. Escape the hells of Nautiloid. Find a cure. Inspiration. Oh, she's an acolyte. Okay. You have spent your life in service to templating sacred rites and providing sacrifices to the gods. Okay, makes sense. Train in a battlefield, yeah, soldier. Dialogue. Okay, you have all your... Nice. Uh, tutorials. Okay. There they are, I guess. Open game menu. Manage reactions. Character can spit a reaction once per round in turn-based or combat mode to respond to another action. For example, if a character flees from melee combat, you could spend a reaction to take an opportunity attack. You can manage which reaction trigger automatically, which pause the game to let you choose, and which are ignored in the reactions menu. 
awesome. Jump. Some spells and features allow strange and wonderful creatures to be summoned. They will follow their summoner around the world, but can be commanded to act separately. Summons cannot pick up items or start dials or disappear and disappear when their master dies or dismisses them. The weave's a fickle friend. Some magic has unexpected consequences. Wild magic, sorcerers, and barbarians can trigger a random magical effect when they cast spells or rage. Be careful as these effects could be deadly or ridiculous. I feel like I hurt I hurt Shadow Heart either by the, the Thunder Wave I did or by my magic surge because I had a magic surge when I did the Thunder Wave, so I'm not sure. Switch focus, camera control, yeah that that I got. Okay. <laughs> it's not that big of a of tutorial, but you know what? I'm good with that. Okay, wait. Uh Reactions? Where were they? I guess it was you? Reactions. Opportunity attack automatically I think is good. Ask for confirmation will not trigger. Okay, ask for confirmation. Yeah. Alright. I could do a... I, I mean, I could do a short rest, but I guess I don't need to. I still have all my stuff. Action, one bonus. Action, one movement. Nine. Spell slot. We can still use two of them, because I didn't use any. Revive a companion. Heals and remove burning. Truly send ball at a target. And possibly pull in nearby in objects and creatures. I can shove, I can dip a weapon into a surface to alter the surface or enhance the weapon. If you are dual wielding, you dip both weapons. So could I dip like a sword in, in lava, for example, or something like that? Like, I guess I could. I really, I need to... I need to go. There's something. Oh, that's Shadow Heart! Oh, the tentacles! I didn't see before. Wake her, reach for the artifact. I'm gonna wake her. <laughs> You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? It's thanks to you. Doesn't matter. We made it. True. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. What happened to our get friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. We should look for her. She might be injured, or worse. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. She could be unconscious first like you first. were. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. You're a healer. We might have escaped, <laughs> but we still have these little monsters in our heads. True. You're a healer, but not that. Yeah. Mm. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. You want to stay together, I take it? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get moving. One thing, just Daughter before we go. Of darkness. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. You're it would welcome. have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I'm gonna end it here. I don't know, does it save? No, I save.
Thank you. Save. Ugh. So what I'm planning to do... This is way too much fun. I am... <laughs> I have a lot to learn. Um, yeah, we have a lot to learn. But... It was amazing. I really, really, really enjoyed this first look into the game. We didn't get to play too long gameplay-wise. I'm sorry about that because I spent so much time in character creation. But the game itself looks beautiful. Is D&D pure and simple. It's not even like, oh, it's a bit like D&D. No, it is D&D. Like, there is no other way to talk about this game. It's a D&D game. Um, I'm guessing there are some things that are different, but I love it so much. I am so happy that I was able to make my campaign character that we're currently in, my Lilith. Uh, that's insane. I did not expect to really be able to take even her background and like origin and everything. Like that's, that's crazy. And the story is very interesting. I didn't expect to see mind flayers right off the bat. That's so cool. I just really, really like it. It's, it's gonna be my next obsession. I think this game probably. I really want to play. Also, I didn't, I didn't say in the beginning of the game. I want to play this with my characters' morals because usually when I play RPGs, I kind of mix with what I think the character would do from what I understand of them and what I would do. For example, I'm playing Mass Effect right now and that's how I play my Shepard. I'm like, it's a mix of what I think Commander Shepard would do and what I would do in, in this situation. For this, I'm really trying to play like what my character would do because I know her well, you know, I've created her and we've been spending time with her for four years in our campaign and, you know, like I know her, I know what she would do. And I hesitated for the artifact thing because she does not trust that easily. But since we went through um, all this with the Mind Flayers, I don't remember much of my past from what I understand because of the tadpole maybe um, and Shadowheart was the one reaching for the console and everything uh, immediately helping healing me even though I I asked her not healing um, protecting me even though I was the one the player asking her to do that but you know she she protected me with a spell um, and you know we we battled together so I am not exactly super loyal to her yet but just enough to say that I'm not gonna steal her, her artifact like without her wanting to and she's like she she clearly said like don't don't ask me about this yet right so I'm gonna respect that for now because as much as I am mistrustful of others I understand if they are of me it makes sense so that's why I didn't but if it was someone I didn't know yeah I would have reached for the artifact for sure but I know her a little bit now so mm. I'm just gonna wake her. And I wanna find our um, Lazel, our friend, um, because she also helped. And she didn't attack me when she could have. And yeah, she, she battled with us. So, yeah, that's how I'm gonna play, I think. I'm gonna play as like my Lilith, you know, like what she would do. And it's going to be very different because I am not like her. Um, so, please, please don't judge me if I ever make decisions that are uh, a little bit harsh or you know it's 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 my character so yeah i'm very excited to play i hope you guys liked it let me know in the comments if you want this to become a let's play series or if you would prefer if i streamed it maybe on youtube or on twitch but uh, i'm definitely gonna play this game whether it is by myself or for you guys i mean with you guys uh whatever but i'm gonna play this this is amazing so yeah i hope you enjoyed i really liked it anyways and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video perhaps so bye